everybody. This is Riku Keyblade Master, and I have something else that I forgot to tell you about my current set of disabilities. See, here's the thing. You know that thing that I was telling you guys in the back of my neck? That's really, really, really putting pressure on my brainstem and everything. Well, here's the deal. <sighs> Sorry, this is not easy for me to... Sorry. Anyway. Oh my god, how can I put this? Um... Well, I, not only do I have the inability to control laughing at random things and crying at random times, uh, it's apparently messing with my memory as well. I, I start to forget things repeat myself, and I don't really mean to do that. I mean, it's really... It's really not my fault. I, I don't know what to do. And... I don't know. More and more problems start developing with it. As my life tends to go on further, it's just, it's hard for me to deal with, and originally I wasn't going to tell you guys about this, but that's only because I didn't want you guys to worry so much. But, you know, I feel like I could tell you guys straight out of confidence. And you guys always ask me. I don't care, you know, update us when something goes wrong or whatever. Ever since I found out about my condition. And I, I, I don't know. My condition is just getting worse and worse, and I don't know what to do. I've tried everything, and it's it's not easy at all, and even my mom said, It's okay, Vanessa. We're just going to take it little by little, day by day, one step at a time. And I'm thinking to myself, one step at a time, how long will it be before everyone understands? I mean, it's, it's not easy for me to, <sighs> not easy for me to admit this kind of stuff, but I figured I would tell you guys, since you guys are my friends, and you guys, basically a mix, friends, family, acquaintances, you name it. And you guys really... You guys really care about me, so why would I not want to tell you? But then again, I just didn't want anybody to be alarmed or anything like that.
like that. I just I didn't know how to completely explain everything and it's really stuff like this isn't simple I'm not gonna lie but I mean look at the bright side I mean come on at least I'm trying to cope with it and I'm trying so hard with my channel and everything to do projects for you guys and stuff. I am recording this on my tablet right now because I still haven't figured out how to use my computer in terms of uploading videos because the YouTube app is not compatible with my PC which is stupid. They should make a lot of stuff compatible, especially since, you know, my devices are kind of breaking on me, so I try really hard not to use them as much. I mean, Jesus. My my computer is a Dell PC. And if it's a desktop, if anybody knows how to flip and do that, then please tell me in the comment section. Because I'm still having trouble figuring it out. It's not the easiest thing for me. Right now, I'm... I'm trying, and another thing, it's like, I got too much on the brain, and people will throw conversations at me, and I, I try to pay attention to one conversation, and then they start up another conversation, like yesterday. I was talking to my grandma, I was in the midst of talking to my grandma, and my cousin Cameron, and... Uh, we were talking about two different things, and then my grandma shifts the subject to a third thing, and then I try to move back to my cousin Cameron, you know, and then my aunt comes, and my grandma shifts the subject again, and literally a chicken little moment here. Who are we talking about? What are we talking about? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's like that. I mean, when so many people talk at once around me, it sounds literally like voices in my head. Like I can't, with everybody talking at once, I, I forget which conversation I was in first and, you know, people shifting conversations and discussions. I'm just like, why? You know, I can handle like one or two subjects at a time, but like if you throw like, as I said before, if you throw like anything above that, at me, it's like, who was I dealing with first? So, yeah, and like my mom said to me, my birthday's coming up tomorrow, by the way, um, I'm going to be 24, and like my mom said to me the other day, we were sitting at the table talking, and she says to me, Huh? 
honey, you may not realize it, but you're going to make the perfect angel someday. I mean, you're always trying your best to do whatever you can. Always trying your best to handle so much. And now it's getting to the point where... I literally can't handle too much at once, which is kind of the reason why I'm spacing out my uploads. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I updated you guys about this whole situation. I mean, if you, re if you really want to know where that thing is in my neck, that they finally determined it as a fluid pocket. And it's like two inches. Hold on. Actually, it's about... It's a few inches from my hairline, in the back of my hair, so like it's like way up there in my brainstem, but it's not too too up there to my hairline. It's tangled up in cords basically and it can't move anymore. It used to be like in my in my spine far down and then but then as years passed it moved it creeped slowly and slowly and slowly from my spine to my brain stem and at a certain point in my brain stem is where it's stuck which is like I said before really 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 close to my hairline and my doctor said yesterday when he looked at my MRI and I seen it I'm like geez that's what my skull looks like and if you guys thought I was torn before when I first found out that I had this thing in my neck you guys should have seen me in Iowa City. I was... Wow. So, and if I... And another thing that's a problem. If I start randomly crying or laughing, that's another thing that I can't really control. Because that's also part of it. I've never been able to control that ever since I was little, but no one in my family had the patience. They um, just assumed that I was doing things on purpose. And, you know, I was a little kid. How was I supposed to catch on? to anything at like the ages of like all the way up to me turning five. Actually, yeah, all the way up to me turning five, how exactly was I supposed to catch that? And on top of my disability being genetic also, 
the LMC, like I said before, could have easily killed me at the age of two, but instead it scarred my redness. And this is pretty much what happened. But after years and years, it just kept getting worse. And the doctor said that stuff is changing with me, which I'm even noticing myself. You know, I told my mom, I'm like, soon enough, I won't even remember who you are anymore. You know? And... I'm sorry, again, this is, this is really not easy for, <sighs> this is really not easy for me to do, this was not going to be an easy vlog, I mean, oh my gosh, but, I mean, I guess on the bright side, I have my spirit communication, which that's been coming in handy a lot, and, um, I have a feeling that I was given that ability at a young age, Because my life expectancy, from what, um, from the perspective that I'm thinking, maybe my life won't last much longer. Maybe I, I mean... You never know. I mean, I'm about to turn 24, but still, that doesn't mean much. I am losing my memory and my body just decides to go numb uncontrollably, too, and that's not easy for me to deal with either. It just goes numb for no reason. And I get, like, really bad little tremors, which is kind of like the shakes, which I'm sure you guys have noticed in the past, but I have never caught on until now. I'm sorry to bog you all down with this, but I know you guys are worried. You haven't heard much from me. So, yeah. This has been Riku Keyblade Master. Until next time, comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade wielder and stay awesome as usual. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that this was... A highly depression based video, but I really felt like this is something I needed to get off my chest. There's a lot in here, and it may seem heavy to some people, but look at the bright side. At least I'm trying, at least I'm hanging in there. You guys are practically the reason I keep going. You know, you guys are practically the reason I keep going. And, you know, comment sections too. If I end up repeating the same thing, that's a complete accident. If I leave the same comment, like, a bunch of times, I'm, I'm not doing it on purpose. 
let you guys know if I, like, attend a stream or something. I'm not spamming the same comment over and over on purpose. Sometimes my memory acts strange and I forget what I just did. I'm thinking it's really Alzheimer's, but... I'll find out soon enough when my time comes. Until next time, like I said, I've been Riku Keyblade Master. Comment, rate, and subscribe to Keyblade Wielder and it's me as usual. I'm trying to come up with more projects. I really want to thank you guys for sticking if you stuck this long. Thank you.